Do you want to play a character who is a death-dealing, damage-taking, rage fuel machine? Do you want to channel ancestral spirits to guide you in battle? Or maybe you just want to get so angry that you begin to blast out lightning? Well, then the Barbarian may be for you. Hello and welcome, my name's Matical, and this is What the Crit Is. In this video series, we take a look at classes from Dungeons and & Dragons and Pathfinder and give you an overview of what they are, what they can be, and some examples to get your imagination going. So today, we're going to be looking at the Barbarian, one of the most simple and yet most fun classes in any RPG game, at least any I've played myself. A Barbarian is a rage fueled tank of a character class, with a wide range of available options through subclasses in D&D and archetypes in Pathfinder. When you think of a Barbarian, it's likely you think of a large, weapon-wielding warrior who decimates their enemies with sheer might. And you wouldn't be wrong. Many are like this, and the damn cool for it. But that's not all they are. Wielding supernatural powers through their heritage and rage, such as with the Ancestral Guardian subclass, or summoning lightning around them the angrier they get, like some sort of really pissed off Thor. The range of ways in which to take a Barbarian offers up a great opportunity to form very interesting characters. Speaking of characters... There are quite a few characters who could fit the Barbarian class found throughout comics, video games, and even books, such as... Drax the Destroyer, of Guardians of the Galaxy fame. Red Sonja, known as the best swordsman of the Hyborian Age who carves her way through many stories, arguably one of the most known Barbarian characters out there. Conan the Barbarian, created by Robert E. Howard, the iconic character that many people think of as soon as the class is mentioned. The muscle-bound Barbarian is a large influence for many other Barbarian characters and the sword and sorcery genre as a whole. Logan Ninefingers, the Bloody Nine. The towering, scarred northerner with, well, nine fingers, and point of view character from the book series The First Law by Joe Abercrombie. Through both calculated combat tactics and sheer instinctual killing rage, Logan makes a lasting impression throughout the series of books. And finally, Grog. A Goliath barbarian from Vox Machina and of critical role fame played by the brilliant Travis Willingham, beloved by many critters, including myself. There isn't much more to say on this character aside from go watch some Critical Role or read the comics. The key features found in the Barbarian class that form the core of it throughout many RPG systems are as follows. Rage. In both Pathfinder and Dungeons and & Dragons, a Barbarian's first and foremost ability they gain is the power to fly into a rage which enhances their physical abilities. This power is the foundation of many of the other features a Barbarian will gain throughout their adventures. Personally, I feel it's one of the most simple but bloody cool powers to use in-game, as you describe how their rage takes form and they pile into the enemy hordes ahead, diverting attention from their allies and slicing through their enemies with their great axe. Fast movement. To support your never-ending quest to cut things in half and club them to death, you gain increased movement speeds. So while your enemies feel safe as they run away, it won't last long until you've already caught up with them and their dreams of escape are sadly crushed. In Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition, you gain this at level 5, and in Pathfinder, you start off with it at level 1. Danger Sense, or Uncanny Dodge. As if being a raging ball of power isn't enough to give your Barbarian an edge, they're also hard to surprise, whether it be a surprise birthday party thrown by your allies, or a sneaking group of goblins prepared to stick you with the pointy end of their sword. The Barbarian is rarely caught off guard. Unarmored Defense In Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition, the Barbarian also has access to the Unarmored Defense feature. This allows for your Barbarian to choose to forego pesky armor in favor of the shield of rock-hard abs and their natural dexterity to avoid blows. Now, the other thing to talk about is the difference in available options based on which system you choose to play your Barbarian in. For Dungeons & Dragons, you have primal paths such as the Ancestral Guardian who makes use of ancient spirits, the Berserker whose pure rage makes them hurt people better, Totem Warrior who uses totems of animals to gain unique benefits to their rage power, along with the Battle Rager, Storm Herald and Zealot who each bring their own unique flavour to your rage abilities and character progression overall. In Pathfinder, 
you gain two avenues to customize your Barbarian through rage powers that allow you to add abilities to your rage, such as gaining a bite attack to nibble angrily at your enemies, taunting them so much they can only hit you, or my favorite, the body bludgeoning power, which lets you beat someone with another person's body, which is probably one of the most metal rage powers there are, now that I think about it. Aside from this, you also gain the ability to change your class through use of archetypes in Pathfinder, which swap out some features with new features to reflect that change. Some of these include the Mad Dog, Liberator, Raging Cannibal, and one of my favorites, the Moon Cursed, which lets you rage so hard you become a werewolf or were-shark. So, with all that in mind, I hope you have more ideas on what you want to play with your new Barbarian character. But just in case, I'll be giving three examples of characters that may help you to give you some inspiration or an idea on how to use these features and choices to make some truly fun Barbarian characters. In the north, there is a man spoke of as if he was legend, a myth to be told to clansmen to warn them of their own anger, a man who was once said to have crushed a bare skull with his own bare hands, a man who is said to have fought in many of the wars between the clans of the Northmen and never lost. He is said to be possessed with an insatiable appetite for battle and that no blow, no matter how deep, will slow him down. Many who have seen him in battle speak of a look in his eyes, a blank stare full of rage that pierces their very heart. He fights with wild abandon, swinging his long sword with ferocity and speed like that of a demon. It is said, however, that away from the battle, the man is calm, collected, and gentle. A stark contrast the bloodshed and ferocity shown during. Standing heads above many others of his kin, he towers over the battlefield like an ever-watching giant, waiting for his time to enter the fray. His name, you ask? Asmund Cole, and he is no myth. This character concept is for a character known as Asmund Cole, a northerner and barbarian who makes use of a longsword in battle, and nothing more than sheer brute force to take down his foes. This sort of character can be made using the Berserker Primal Path in Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition, or simply the base barbarian from Pathfinder, with some powers and feats such as the Power Attack feat or Cleave to really emphasize that raw fighting ability. Character 2 Sindra Sharptusk. Thundering footsteps and lightning quick attacks herald the arrival of Sindra Sharptusk as she leaps into battle. Once a shaman, her strength comes from the primordial elements themselves. However, the days of battle are far behind the half orc. The glory days over, Sindra has turned a new leaf. She now makes a life for herself as an inventor, her creations imbued with the elemental powers she harnesses. However, do not let her peaceful life fool you. Her prowess is mighty, and her temper is still quick. Especially after a peculiar incident with her pet mouse, Sparky. One might say her anger is... shocking. This character pitch is for a half-orc barbarian who makes use of the Storm Herald Primal Path from Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition, but with a bit of a twist. Making use of the sea aura for lightning and a background as a shaman turned inventor, which could prove incredibly fun to play. For Pathfinder, I'd consider multiclassing barbarian and shaman, or even barbarian and alchemist if you really want to play on that inventor aspect of the character. Character 3 Augustus Periwinkle III. Some call me a terror of the oceans, others call me Lord Augustus Periwinkle III. Both would technically be correct. You see, while in the day I enjoy the company of tea and fine art, the best combination since bread and butter, of course, by night my life completely changes. I have been known to change into something else when I am perturbed, and nothing irritates me more than fake painting smugglers or other unjust rapscallions. 
where they may look upon my sharply form with fear, others look to me as a hero of sorts. Perhaps one day I will find a greater calling for my unique power. Perhaps as a hero. This character pitch is a bit of a strange one. Subverting the idea of a barbarian as a tough, large juggernaut of a character to a rather extravagant and over-the-top aristocratic half-elf. This character is based on the moon-cursed barbarian from Pathfinder, which makes use of a wear form of your choice, uh, in this case, a wear shark when they rage. So, as you can see, the barbarian class is simple, but has an amazing amount of depth to play around with. Hopefully this video has helped you get to know the class better and will help you to get creating your own great characters. Let me know in the comments below of any of your barbarian character ideas or a character that you've already played yourself. And that concludes today's video. So thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time.